If we don't do something now to protect and conserve what little salmon we have left, one day they're not going to be any. There's historic evidence of all five species of Pacific salmon in here. It's primarily used by coho at the moment, but we want to sort of reintroduce and restore water back in here to try and get the flows up so we can get more fish in here. What you build for sockeye and what you build for chinook has a indirect service to coho. You open it up and the fish just flood back in. As soon as there's an open opportunity where there's water that wasn't there before, they'll come in and use it, do their thing, and next thing you know, it's flooded with coho fry. Pre-planting is so important, and I think with everything that's been going on, like with the wildfires and everything, I just wanted to try and give back. And because it's a restoration project within the upper pit, I was more interested because, you know, that's our homeland. And I just wanted to not only do my part, but at the same time learn as much as I can while I'm up there. The tree planting and the berry planting and the salal planting was super important because they are native to our territory and the roots help prevent erosion of the creek. One of our matriarchs is the sockeye salmon, so this was super meaningful to not only be able to go to our sacred territory, but to be nurturing and taking care of the sockeye salmon, who is our ancestor as well. Within our culture, water is such a huge way of replenishing your body. It's like a way of cleansing yourself spiritually, and I think that's what I needed because it raining on us all day, it allowed us to kind of like recharge myself. Like as tired as I was, it was just an amazing feeling coming back from Upper Pit Lake. It was, you know, one of the highlights of my life, I have to say, as a Katesy person, this is what we're all about. We're all about the reciprocal relationship with nature, taking care of the life that takes care of us.